Hey guys, Vietnam Raw here, number two. Um, today we're going to eat chicken. We got this emergency phone call from our friend Steve. He said, come eat chicken now. And so I guess that's as much as an emergency phone call a friend can get. So uh, we're going to Dax Chicken. It's uh, one of our favorite. Um, first, we're gonna get a grab though. So we use Grab Share these days. Uh, we actually have not had to share a taxi yet, but it's cheaper. So this is, it's almost like half price of, of a regular taxi. Um, and between Grab and Uber, we can always get something, it seems. So we'll see if there's any Grab share available. Sometimes there's not. But these days, we don't use regular taxis at all. Um, we're just using Grab or Uber. Let's see here. All right. So we got a Grab taxi coming, Grab share, um, six minutes away. And, uh, oh. Phone call coming in. Hello? Yeah, grab. Yeah, uh, Beleza. Beleza apartment. Okay. Yeah, come on. So they often try to, um, they call ahead of time to make sure that we are ready, that we're real people. Um, but anyways, between Grab and Uber, we don't take taxis anymore. It's about half the cost. Um, so that's pretty much what we do. So come on, let's uh, come to the taxi here. Alright, let's get in. Are you gonna. Sh should I sit on yeah. front? Hello. 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 <laughs> <laughs> So this is a grab taxi. Generally, we take grab taxis anywhere we go. Um, it's just, it's a great service. Um, Steve has been here for eight years and actually it's kind of sad because just like many see he's leaving in two weeks so when he says come eat chicken then we kind of have to go eat chicken so um, it kind of comes with the territory so just let's enjoy some of the, uh, the views of nighttime driving in Vietnam About a year ago, they promised us they're going to have a new road here, um, and we waited and we waited and we waited, uh, and then finally they opened the new road. But it's mostly open. You can see here the little, little entrance is a little it's bit. It's going to be bumpy here. Rough. Um, bumpy, yes. but this is the new road. It's beautiful. They don't want this type of footage. But this is kind of a new road. So I think you can say new road right after Canadian school. So I think even uh, foreigners will look at it. But 
do you think? Mm, I think so. Or, you know what? Direction, how to go to Belleza. <laughs> <laughs> Personally, I want to keep this footage, even if you don't want it. So, how's your life going? Nah. Mm. So this is Wenlong Bang. This is uh, the kind of the connector between Lower District 7, Nabe District, and Wen Van Lin, which is kind of the, the, the connector to downtown. It's built through a new area called Fumi Hung. Uh, it's my morning drive. This is my drive every morning. It takes about 10 minutes to get to school from where I am on my motorbike. We chose to move out because it was, I, I like riding the motorbike. It's actually kind of comfortable. You can see off to the to the right here. Uh, there's motorbike traffic, but in the morning it's a lot heavier. So, but it's a nice peaceful drive. Sometimes I get a book on tape. I just pop in the headphones, and we just take a little take a little trip. So it's not a bad drive. But these days it's the end of the school year. Things are wrapping up. Kids are tired. I'm tired. Um, it just seems like everybody's about ready for summer break. So uh, these days the alarm clock gets hit, a snooze one extra time, and it's harder to get the head off the pillow and a little more groggy in the mornings and it's just one of those things that happens before a long break. So uh, thankfully most of my students are doing pretty well. Um, they're, most of them are just about finished with what they need to get done. Obviously, have a few scrambling. So, Biggie? I can't hear you. Biggie? Mm. You cannot hear me? There you go. Oh, I, I'm, I cannot hold it. Just talk. Um, so, you've been here for two years. Have you noticed any changes or differences? You know, most places, if you're going to be there for two years, you're not going to see a lot of change. Things are going to be about the same. In Connecticut, we were there for three years, and every street and everything was exactly the same when we left when we came here. And this is not the case at all. Stuff has changed so much in two years. There's so many more buildings going up. Um, and even, like, big things like the way that cars drive has changed. When we first got here, red lights were treated like uh, just suggestions for cars. And, you know, then they just, we got a news story that they're implementing this new law of ticketing based on cameras, and suddenly the cars stopped at red lights. And it was like a, just a change in behavior. Motorbikes still keep going, just a suggestion, but cars change. The number of cars in two years has, it feels like it's double. I don't know if it's actually double, but this intersection in the morning used to have almost no cars in it, and now there's a traffic jam at this light. So uh, there has been a lot of change. The, the big change that seems to never stop is any store that was here two years ago, um, it seems like, of course, this is an exaggeration, but it seems like half of them have, are gone um, or run down or not popular anymore. And those things just change so quick. So we'll have this coffee shop that we really like and we show up and it's just not there anymore. We'll have this restaurant that we went to and we show up and it's now something else. Um, or this place that we went to and we don't like and we show up and it's gone and then we cheer because it was just really bad. So um, there's, there's always things changing. this to Korea, you know, this is a pre-planned, Fumihang is a pre-planned area that was 
this this development company came in and decided that they were going to take what was once a swampland and just make it into the city. So this whole city here is is just it's new. It was swampland, and you know, still at high tide, we saw some water in the road, but. point is this this reminds me of of a lot of more modern Asian cities that you know give this area 10 years if this could be like Gangnam in Seoul or Songdo or um, in Shanghai the, the new side of the river so who knows what, what's gonna happen in this area Are you excited about Korean fried chicken? It is one of our favorite chicken places. <sighs> and can you explain, uh, Soumek? No, 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 uh, uh, Chimek. So Chimek is the Korean word for chicken and beer. Beer is mekju. Chicken is in Korean, big surprise, chicken. Um, so, Chimek is an acronym for chicken, and beer is like chibye or something. <laughs> it doesn't sound as impressive in English. You see, the turning left in the intersection here is quite the adventure. Since I move here, I am scared of police officers. Yeah, there are always police officers, it seems like, um, on this stretch of road. And they're very partial to people that they could get money from, I think. <laughs> so if you have, if you're in a, a position to pay them off a little bit, you're probably more likely to get pulled over. I'm not going to include this part in today's video. Okay, so do you want me to? No, keep going. But let's restart it before the restaurant. You know, your channel is just raw. And it's beautiful right now. And I think your concept should be night. <laughs> Night driving. Night driving. Night grab driving. On the new road. Thank okay, you. thank you. Yeah. Come on, you. Yeah.